that's some good stuff dude this video is gonna be something a little bit different and no this channel is not turning into a tractor channel or anything like that but I did just pick this thing up here used a uh, John Deere 1025R with a loader and a ballast box and plan is to get rid of that with the front snowblower and the walk behind snowblower, snowblower that we have get a snowblower for this and a mower deck and do the whole yard of that but anyways none of that really matters i'm gonna do a video on this ballast box here now i know a lot of my fishing subscribers are probably gonna click off this video and that's fine uh because you know we sometimes do random videos snowmobile videos things like that not always fishing on here um but i do like to do like diy like building different things designing different things you know being creative and just kind of you know, modding out, modding out stuff. Nothing stock. That's that's the motto around here. Nothing stock. So, um, just gonna do a little video on building this ballast box. There wasn't too many out there on the web, so uh, hopefully this will inspire some of you guys that have tractors and want to pimp out your ballast box. But uh, so here it is. This is the John Deere ballast box. What I'm going to do with this is I want to modify it so it's not just a ballast box, it's a tool carrier, um, it has other functions because the only time I'm really going to be using this is when the loader's on and when I'm snow blowing and probably when I'm mowing most of the time throughout the summer the loader won't even be on here but uh, so that means this won't be on here but when this is on I want to be able to use it for other things besides just you know a ballast so I'm going to try to attach a drop hitch to it so I can move my trailers around like the boat and the snowmobile trailer and you know other stuff um, the other thing we're gonna do is put a chainsaw mount in there we're gonna put some tool holders things like that and I've decided to pull the trigger and fill this thing with concrete um, just took some two inch PVC cut it to the exact height of the box uh, I'm gonna cut the rest of these out stick those in there and then show you how I'm gonna actually let uh, you know set them in there so they don't uh, come out when I pour the cement. And I'm gonna drill holes down in the bottom of these after I glue these on. I'm gonna drill holes so if this does fill up with water, it just drains out through the bottom of the box. Shouldn't matter at all. All right, so check this out. This is the bottom of the PVC pipe, I have the cap on the end that you're gonna need. Uh, I drilled a half inch hole in there. And then I just got a decent sized bolt with a washer that will fit down in there, like so. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mount this right into the bucket, um, into that hole that I just drilled. Drop this down here. All right, so before I do these other two tubes here and figure out where I'm going to put those. I'm going to build the little slot here to put my shovel handle down in. Now this is the <coughs> shovel I normally use, just a barn shovel. I think these are actually made right in Maine. Yep, made in Maine. Anyways, that's the shovel that I normally use, so I want to make sure that that slot can take that handle and just slide it right down in here and it'll sit kind of like that. So that way when I'm snow blowing and stuff, I can just whip it right out. I thought about using like a PVC trim board to like make a little box and then do all that. But I have a welder and I have some steel. So I'm gonna basically just weld up a little box and then we're just gonna tack it to the inside of this. So there it is. Here's the shovel handle here. Fits right in. Perfect. Not gonna get too fancy with it. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of paint just to cover it up so it doesn't rust in there. Do a couple coats on the inside to protect it a little bit. And we're gonna do it in John Deere Green. There it is. Painted the inside of it. Although once we weld that, some of that paint might burn up a little bit. I don't know. Tack that in. We'll get to the next spot. All right, so it's in there. Just tacked it in a few places. Um, 
I kind of figured this was gonna happen, but we burnt through a little bit. We didn't burn through, we just kinda, well, I can't really see it very good, but get the light on it. Paint burnt a little bit on the outside, so I'm just gonna scrape that off, touch that up also. Probably won't even ever be able to tell. And hit all this with some green paint down in there. Sick. All right, so the tubes are all in there. Piece that we welded is all in there. And this piece just came in the mail that I'm gonna put on right now. And it is the saw hall. And it's basically just a little slot for your chainsaw to go. I could have made something like this, but um, I saw this online, bought it, and uh, I think I'm actually gonna mount it up here on the front of the box. That way it's out of the way from the side so I don't end up hitting something with it and breaking it off or whatever and shouldn't be in the way if I mount it right up here. It comes with a mounting bracket here like this and you just slide that right in. They also make another bracket that, I don't know if this shows it at all. No, but they make another bracket that clamps to your bucket arm here so you can put your saw in here, but we're just gonna mount it to the box, so I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Mother. <sighs> Drilling half inch holes is no joke. Alright, so we got it pretty level here, put a board on here to kind of really level it out. This is what I'm going to use for concrete, it's pre-mixed stuff. Easy, you just add water. I got, I think I got, what, one, two, three, four, six bags. I think that's going to be too much. Um, I figured four bags is about 500 pounds with the weight of this bucket plus the water. Oh, they're 80 pound bags. I'm going to do four bags, see what that looks like, that'll be about 500 pounds. And then that'll give me some room to add or subtract some weight as I need it. But we'll just kind of see how it works and see how full we get. Okay, so that's what four bags looks like. And again, I estimated that to be about 500 pounds. It's probably, well, it's a little over half full. I'll buy or make a couple of uh, rectangular concrete blocks that I can just drop in there and that'll be sufficient. So let that set up a little bit. It's pretty well set up in there. So now I can go ahead and unscrew these bolts from the, and screw these nuts, sorry, from the bottom, like that, screw that out. And then we take our magnet here, extendo, drop that down, pick up the, whoops, other half of the equation right there. And now we've got a clear hole. Yeah, there you go. Pick up that drain hole down there. All right, so it's all done. That last piece there that I didn't end up showing you was, I just put one of these Ken's bolt-on hooks, two-inch receiver uh, on this box because I had bought one for the front of the bucket here. And before I put it on, I test fit it on the back. And it actually fit just perfectly on the top of this box, on this uh, support piece here. So I bolted that on, put a, I believe that's an 11 inch drop hitch the two inch ball to match all my trailers and that should be enough to get down underneath the trailer lift up and i don't really have anything too heavy just that snowmobile trailer my boat trailer so that should be sufficient for what i need i've um, got a you know little storage in there to put my chains and extra weight if i need it got the snow shovel right there fits in there nice and I just kind of toss some tools in there to kind of show you, you know, how, how it might look. But uh, saw holder here, sits in there nice. So with that weight that I have in there, uh, you know, estimated to be around 500 pounds or so, I've only used it a little bit around the yard here and there, and it seems to be uh, a pretty good weight to kind of start with. I lifted this 
box blade out of the back of a truck had the bucket way up in the air about as high as it would go didn't have any issue there um, of course that doesn't really weigh all that much I don't think but it is fairly heavy so um, yeah I'm pretty happy with it the only other thing that maybe I could have done differently is I could have extended these tubes a little bit higher up and then I could have made like a nice plywood cover to go over the top of this and have the tubes come up through it so you know junk and dirt and crap won't get in there but you know what who cares I might be able to do that down the road if I wanted to if I wanted to go ahead and cut these off add a coupler and extend it but I don't know that's gonna work fine so I will try to link everything that I can down in the description below so you guys can find it if you want to do some of these mods to your box or or what have you hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed don't know how many more tractor videos are really going to be on here but i just wanted to do this because i like building stuff and modding stuff out so i went ahead and did this so thanks for watching guys <laughs> <laughs>